Welcome to my channel, 365 Blend Bytes. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform simple employee data into a professional organizational chart using PowerPoint Smart Art, all in just a few minutes. As you can see on the first slide, we have the names of employees along with their designations. Below that, we've listed the reporting relationships. We'll now convert this data into a visual organizational chart using Smart Art. Let's begin by inserting a new blank slide. Now, go to Insert again. Choose Smart Art. Navigate to Hierarchy. And select your preferred layout. Click OK. A sample organizational chart appears with placeholder text. Now, we'll copy the list of employees from the first slide. Ensure it is properly formatted. Switch to second slide. Then click on the Smart Art graphic on the second slide. Open the text pane using the small arrow on the left and click inside. Press Ctrl plus A to select all text, then press Ctrl plus V to paste the copied employee names. Now the employee names are placed in the org chart, but we need to adjust the reporting structure. Let's start aligning the hierarchy based on reporting lines. Employee 2 reports to Employee 1. In the text pane, Click on Employee 2, then press the Tab key. This will indent Employee 2 under Employee 1, clearly indicating the reporting relationship. Employee 3 and Employee for report to Employee 2. Click on Employee 3 in the text pane, then press the Tab key twice. This will place Employee 3 under Employee 2 in the hierarchy. Next, click on Employee 4, press the Tab key twice as well. This will position employee for under employee 2 at the same level as employee 3. The organizational chart will automatically reflect these changes. Employee 5 reports to employee 1. Click on employee 5 and press tab once to place it under employee 1. Employee 6 and employee 7 report to employee 5. Click on employee 6 in the text pane, then press the tab key twice. This will place employee 6 directly under employee 5 in the hierarchy. Next, click on employee 7 and press the tab key twice. This will position employee 7 at the same level as employee 6, both reporting to employee 5. Employee 8 report to employee 1. Click on employee 8, press tab key once to place it under employee 1. Employee 9 and 10 report to employee 8. Click on Employee 9, press Tab key twice, and it will be placed under Employee 8. Click on Employee 10, press Tab key twice, and it will appear under Employee 8, alongside Employee 9. You can insert a new employee at any level of the hierarchy by simply pressing Enter at the desired position. For example, to add Employee 11 under Employee 8, click on Employee 10 in the text pane and press Enter. This will create a new entry at the same level. Type Employee 11 and it will be automatically placed under Employee 8 in the organizational chart, maintaining the reporting structure seamlessly. If you want Employee 11 to report directly to Employee 1, simply click on Employee 11 in the text pane and press the backspace key once. This will move Employee 11 one level up in the hierarchy, positioning directly under Employee 1 in the organizational chart. You can also reposition any employee by right-clicking on their name in the text pane, selecting Cut, and then pasting it at the desired location within the hierarchy. This will automatically update the organizational chart and reflect the new reporting structure based on the pasted position. Now the hierarchy is complete, perfectly reflecting the reporting lines. Next, we will enhance the organizational chart by applying design elements and formatting to improve its visual appeal and clarity. Navigate to the Design tab. Under Themes, apply the Ion Boardroom theme. Next, go to Variants. Select Colors. And choose the Paper Color Scheme. Then, under Effects. Apply the Glossy effect to give the chart a polished and professional look. Click on the Insert tab, then select Text Box. And draw it on the slide. Enter the title as Organizational Chart. To enhance it further, go to the Designer option under the Design tab. You will see several design suggestions powered by Microsoft. Browse through the options and select the one that best suits your presentation to give it a refined and visually appealing finish. 
Make minor size adjustments if required to ensure proper alignment and spacing. You can also navigate to the Smart Art Design tab and choose your preferred color scheme from the Change Colors option to further customize the look of your organizational chart. You can also go to the Format tab and under Shape Effects, navigate to Bevel, then select Round Convex to give the chart shapes a more three-dimensional and polished appearance. And with that, the organizational chart is complete. You can visit the layout section anytime under the Smart Art Design tab and choose a different layout that better fits your content or visual preference. This allows you to quickly restructure the chart without redoing the entire hierarchy. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting and easy to follow tutorials. Got questions or ideas? Drop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Your support truly means the world to me. See you in the next tutorial.